wake up, start smoking a spliff. <coughs> start choking this shit. Eh? I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch. But I don't trust a soul, so the toast is grip, the clip fly and I get high, I get high, I get high. Eh? That's what I happen to your bullshit, a horrible rep- reputation, funny shit that you're telling me in the midst of this situation. You telling me you picture? Oh no, I'll call you back. I don't want to send a picture. Then uh, send paperwork. Can I get the paperwork? All right, I'm gonna send it right now. A couple minutes. No, I'm going on your actions before this camera cuts on. ARP ain't jump out the window on nobody. ARP ain't jump out the window on nobody. I'm going on you treating me like a bitch. You treating me like I'm your bitch or something. Why you got my deposit? And I seen, I heard you said that to Caps too because me swaving Caps got back on the phone and Caps laid in on some more like, nah, he's fool. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell you my mindset, hi. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP. Jag, 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 what have you got yourself into? I was watching ARP's live, shout out to Rosenberg Raw, kind of like alley-ooped it to the timeline, let me know what was going on, let a lot of people know what was going on. And uh, ARP went live today to talk about you missing the uh, Swave Sever battle. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I've been hearing a lot of things. I know you put the word out that you had hip surgery or whatever the case may be, but the way ARP just walked you down about this, it's kind of None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too. I'm serious too. I'm talking to him, and you niggas be sensitive, and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most. Wow. I'm giant. Ain't gonna hold you. You know what I'm saying? He was basically breaking down the fact that you have a history of no showing. You know what I'm saying? The no showed the Arsenal battle, and you no showed a couple other battles, and you had different excuses. You know, like my dog got hit by a parked car. My cousin had cancer. My brother died, and then oh, he even highlighted that you didn't show up to the active battle. For or King of the Die, and they was talking about the features. It was just a lot of shit, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, man. Uh, it do look a little weird because, like, you was you, you're telling people on the side one thing of what's going on, but you ain't really told the league. You ain't showed them no paperwork, and you know, like, if you go to the hospital, you gonna get paperwork. You know what I'm saying you gonna get some paperwork. You you can't. The time you get in the lobby, you not even gonna make it through to the room or nothing. You gotta fill out. Man, everybody hate. You know what, Jack? <clears throat> The worst excuse is the hospital because everybody hates going there because you got to fill out so much fucking paperwork. No. And um, I was serving somebody some crack. I mean, I said, I'm gonna get it. I'm a type of dude I can't be broke. You said I got this broke bill and I fix this shit up. From what? I don't make no money off rack. I start people. So you take your wife or your girl, you let her fill out all the damn paperwork. But you're going to be flipping through some shit. You are going to be flipping through some papers if you go to the hospital. So they the niggas don't believe you. They're basically saying that, you know, you no showed the battle. I, got, I took a couple notes and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fought with Jag. I watched what he done, you know what I'm saying? I've seen his battles. I've watched his come up. But this type of shit right here is kind of crazy. I ain't going to hold you. So he said, you know, he talked about Geechee and O-Red backing out of battles before, but basically let them know, you know, my battle got blocked. URL wasn't letting it happen. He didn't, he didn't say that, but he said it. He was like, he doesn't do back ends when the battle doesn't happen. And he was talking about how Jag was mad about the Clips battle because last time he flew to LA, I was actually in LA for that battle. And Charlie Clips showed up, but he didn't battle because he was sick, but he was willing to pay Jag. It was a wild ass story. But Jag was in LA or was gonna come to LA to do the battle, but Clips wasn't there. So he says like, you know, you 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 from L- Jag, the reason, Jag, 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 follow me. The reason why this looks crazy is because you from the West Coast, in the West Coast, and Swave done flew from New York. That flight is long as shit. I did it. I just did this shit in March, so I know how long of a flight that is. It's a long ass flight, stuck on a plane. Planes is hot, it's summertime. Motherfuckers don't be wearing deodorant. It's a long ass journey to make it from LA to New York from LA. You flying all the way across the country, you're gonna be on a plane all day, and it's gonna be time differences and some more shit. For you to not show up to the battle, And then he said when he got on the phone with you, you said you was going to send him a picture. You know what I'm saying? Because that's all it takes. You know what I'm saying? Like, all you got to literally do is, like, to end all of that shit, you could have just bust out your phone. Bam. You know what I'm saying? You press a little button in the middle. You got an iPhone. Boom. That picture's took. Bam. Then once you do, you flip that. Boom. The picture's sent. You press the little fucking arrow that points up. You find ARP. You shoot the picture. The whole shit is over. But you wouldn't do that. And then you didn't update your social media. But you updated your Instagram with some promotion. (laughs) It's a promotional shit, and then you like it's my team that did it, not me, Jack. Oh my goodness, man. This shit look crazy. I'm not even gonna hold you, my nigga. It does look crazy because the thing is, 
you know, you <laughs> you tweeting and you uh, not tweeting, but you're talking to people behind the scenes and shit, whether it be bloggers or whatever the case may be. You telling them one thing happened, and niggas just saying prayers up and shit like that. Because when I text you, I said the same thing, like, yo, keep you in my prayers and thoughts. Because I th I'm thinking that you you down, you know what I'm saying? But the whole time they talking about you, you you not being truthful about why you didn't make it to the battle. And the word behind the scene is the word even got here. The word even got here that Active was gonna jump in that motherfucking battle. And you know, Active is right there in LA. It ain't nothing but a scoop, scoop, to do. And let me tell y'all, just gonna be honest. Out there, you know, I'm from here, I'm from New York, you know what I'm saying? But um, on the East Coast, it ain't really as, diff as, as, as different as it is in the West. On the West, everything means something. Even this right here, this, this black and orange, this is six fold Hoover, you know what I'm saying? Niggas have an issue with that over there. You wear that shit in the wrong neighborhood. Actually, where that shit is shot. That shit is shot right down Slauson and Crenshaw, not too far from where Nipsey's old shop was, uh, rest in peace, Nip. That shit is in the dead smack middle of the hood. You knew like I knew you would have to go to the dead smack middle of the hood and battle that nigga uh, and, be, and, and, you, and he was gonna jump inside Sway battle in a full circle. I don't think you wanted that pressure. So that's what it's kind of seeming like. It's kind of seeming like, you know, if Active was pulling up, you know, Active is disasters, was disasters, is disasters muscle. You know, he, he got them niggas. <laughs> Active got them niggas with him. So, I'm, I, I, I'm going to hold you, Jag, until you prove different. I'm going to be honest, it feels like you ain't want to show up because you ain't want that smoke of belly. And you wasn't really being straightforward because the thing is, like, if you got into a lot of people are saying it, and now I'm thinking about it too, I'm like, damn, the nigga really had hip surgery. And niggas had to, like, go, do, 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 boat, bat, bat, bat. You sure you ain't, you wouldn't be texting and hitting bloggers and. The nerve of you. <laughs> but you That's know, like disrespect. That's disrespect. <laughs> let niggas know, like, yo, I'm good. So it's, I ain't gonna hold you. It do seem kind of wacky. Now, this is all allegedly, you know what I'm saying? If you got into an accident, I'm gonna use allegedly, you know what I'm saying? Because when I talk about shit that I heard, I'm the blogger that when I talk about the shit that I heard, everybody wanna get mad, get into motherfucking groups and have Barbara Walters talks and meetings about me. I think we need to explain that. I don't like explaining myself to niggas. Whatever, yeah. whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. Like, I really give a fuck, you know what I'm saying? I talk about the shit that come across my timeline. If you're mad about it, you can watch another channel. I tell these motherfuckers all the time, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They, they be letting y'all niggas know you can't even fuck with a picture of me. Then they good with then they all group up and they gotta be four, five, six, seven, eight niggas all to talk about me. And I jump on this camera by myself with just SP. Ladies and gentlemen, Lord, I've, I know why they mad. I know why. And then they wanna talk about my TV show and he got this going on and he got that going on. Niggas are trying to flag your channel, call up to the network. The network said, he don't work for us, he works with us. Click, get your bitch ass off the phone. That's what they're gonna tell you. Call up the, call up the, call up the, call up there if you want. Now, so, you know, it's like, Jag, man, you gotta stop, my nigga. Like, if you ain't got no legitimate reason to have missed that battle, man, it's gonna look bad for you out here. I don't know how far you're gonna go in battle rap or how long you're gonna remain around because, you know what I'm saying, that's a crazy look to have a full circle battle in LA and have Sway who just lost his brother, you know what I'm saying? Chino, he lost his brother like a week or so ago. So for him to go all the way to LA and then not get a battle, <laughs> that shit's crazy. And I know how I felt when I went out there just to see the battles and a battle didn't happen. I felt like, ugh. So to go out there and actually have wrote, prepared, got ready for a battle that didn't happen because of some shit like this is wild. But um, shout out to ARP. ARP, whoa, that nigga walked you down. He walked you down South Central, my nigga. He walked you from, <laughs> he walked you from Rosecrans to La Brea, nigga. He walked you all the way, nigga. He walked you all through the West Coast yesterday. That shit was crazy, nigga. But so, I don't know, man. Y'all, first of all, y'all jump in the comments and let me know what y'all think. I'll put a couple of minutes of ARP's blog if you you could go to his channel it's arp addresses jag it's like a almost an hour long joint you get to like the first 10 15 minutes once you pass that he really starts cutting in and he goes for about 30 35 minutes about jag the battles he missed uh how much he was getting paid versus not getting paid he said that jag was like oh it was only a 500 dollar back in anyway nigga what you accepted it nigga who you accepted it it's crazy i didn't even know i'd be getting paid more than battle rappers i did not know that shit like i really do man that's people <laughs> Oh, this is crazy. Now I see why. See, I blame y'all. I blame y'all. Shout out to Jag. I got no issue with you. Please. It's all allegedly, my nigga. I got to use that word all the time. That nigga be getting mad. Um, if it ain't true and you did get into an accident, you know what I'm saying? I'm sorry and I hope all is well. But the rumor, the word is 
that this shit ain't true and you know you deleted all your tweets and shit niggas went to check your twitter they said your tweets from three days ago but you was talking about tasha k and math see nigga you got to think better you gotta think better you can't be jumping into the tasha k and math shit and then when you you, you want to get into an accident you got to go back like like come on my nigga <sighs> shout out to all y'all niggas out there man but yeah arp went crazy on jack man it, he did he definitely he definitely did. <laughs> he he bodied you up, got us up crazy, man. You know what I mean? But shout out to everybody out there. The subscribers, that notification. Gang, gang, gang. Crack, 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 crack. Yeah, nigga. Then you do Arsenal. Then you get booked for clips. And here we are for Swave. What's the difference with Swave? The only difference is behind the scenes, these rumors started to circulate that Active is jumping into Swave's round. I didn't have conversations behind the scenes with certain battle rappers trying to set that matchup up. And I got some very, very odd feedback about why they don't want to do that battle. And who am I to say who is scared? Not scared. I mean, doesn't want to take a matchup. Cool. Niggas is entitled to say no. But that's like one of the weird variables here. That active was supposed to be showing up. Swave and a couple people behind the scenes mentioned it. I wonder if that got out. And even if it did, once again, there's nothing wrong with a vague, yo, AR, because you don't owe me the world. You know that, right? We don't speak on weddings and birthdays and all that type of shit. You don't owe me the world. It could have been that, and it could have still been a vague, yo, AR, I owe you one. My bad, something popped up. I got you, though. I apologize, G. And where do I run with that? But the cancer, you mentioned your brother with cancer on the phone with me. And I told you I don't play with that shit. So when when I get that and I get the other thing with the million dollar deal that you just signed and it just advanced you a couple hundred grand. And when I get that situation that made you sell all your cribs and, and your houses and the old shit with you on camera with me doing the face off. And then what Gannick just posted talking about like you ran off with this and it was because your brother died. You told them that story. Or when we hear the rumors of you running off because of feature money and what blah, blah, you told me that because you peeped the drop and you, you probably went Rambo and you got about it all that. We put all this shit together. And it's just like, dude. Do you do all of that circus shit or do you just say, my bad, I can't do it. And then I got nowhere to go from there. I just say, fuck. All right. And then there's, once again, there's none of this. Isn't that so much easier? Is that not like the big point here for certain people? It's just so much easier just, just to be real or be as close to the truth as possible. Be vague or be honest like old Red and Geechee. And then I say, yo, Red, no problem. I'm booking you 50 times after that. Honesty, man. Honesty. <laughs> Froze, what up, man? I might be the prime example of a rare breed. <laughs> yeah, I, hey, hey, Froze, I watched... Um, Avo's uh, watch, you and you and bros, fuck both of y'all, all right? I was in a lounge Saturday. I couldn't hear, but I could see the parts that y'all were at, and y'all pausing. I seen avocados, fuck ass, fucking zooming in on my face <laughs> at that time. <laughs> fuck all three of y'all, as a matter of fact. D then this whole fucking little fun narrative y'all do. Um, did ARP know that Charlie Clips was going to do that third round? Fuck y'all. All three of y'all. Fuck y'all niggas. All right? <laughs> but it's a, an extremely entertaining uh, live. So I don't know if it's set the members only on Avo's side, on the Ruin Your Day channel, whatever it is, go watch it. That shit is pure fucking comedy. But fuck y'all niggas. <laughs> uh, send me Jack second half. <laughs> Froze. AK, appreciate you gifted on the channel as always. Oh, Shafar, shout out to all the members in the building. Appreciate you gifting on the channel as well. Arsenal is... New high. Yeah. I wake up, start smoking a split. <coughs> start choking this shit. Yeah. I look around, seen a ghost in this bitch. But I don't trust a soul, so the toast is grip. The clip fly and... That's what I 